There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below, but for now, today's question. Caffeine appears to raise blood pressure. In M people and TH short term ND and THR and THLNG term. TI an important question BU 80% F Americans drink coffee VR day ND but not day N percent F people worldwide consume caffeine and end product are another. It's L an important question BU high blood pressure and U strokes are heart attacks. Caffeine and U is short, but dramatic increase in ER blood pressure. VN if you don't HV high blood pressure. It's unclear WHTUT spike in blood pressure. SM researchers believe THT caffeine ULD block a hormone THD helps K or D helps K or D. Other think THT caffeine your adrenal glands T release Mr. Adrenaline. We your blood pressure T increase. SM people WH regularly drink caffeinated beverages HV a higher average blood pressure. THND THWH drink none. A third WH regularly drink caffeinated beverages develop a tolerance to caffeine. A result, caffeine doesn't HV a long-term effect and third blood pressure. It MTHT caffeine H a stronger blood pressure increasing effect in men WH are older. THN 70 RWH are overweight. People with a high blood pressure typically continue their normal lives unaware there. Is any such thing wrong? There are numerous ways to cure high blood pressure obviously. However the proven one and easy home remedy for high blood pressure is available. At control your blood pressure. I have used them and I also was successful in curing my high blood pressure permanently. Caffeine can cause a short, but dramatic increase in your blood pressure. Even if you don't have high blood pressure, it's unclear what causes this spike in blood pressure. Some researchers believe that caffeine could block a hormone that helps keep your arteries widened. Others think that caffeine causes your adrenal glands to release more adrenaline, which causes your blood pressure to increase. Some people who regularly drink caffeinated beverages have a higher average blood pressure than do those who drink none. Others who regularly drink caffeinated beverages develop a tolerance to caffeine. As a result, caffeine doesn't have a long-term effect on their blood pressure. It seems that caffeine has a stronger blood pressure increasing effect in men who are older than 70 or who are overweight. If you have high blood pressure. Ask your doctor whether you should limit or stop drinking caffeinated beverages. If you're concerned about caffeine's effect on your blood pressure, try limiting the amount of caffeine you drink to 200 mg a day about the same amount as in two 12-ounce, 355 ml, cups of brewed coffee. Keep in mind that the amount of caffeine in coffee and other beverages varies by brand. Also, avoid caffeine right before activities that naturally increase your blood pressure, such as exercise weightlifting or hard physical labor. To see if caffeine might be raising your blood pressure, check your blood pressure within 30 to 120 minutes of drinking a cup of coffee or another caffeinated beverage. If your blood pressure increases by 5 to 10 points, you may be sensitive to the blood pressure raising effects of caffeine. If you plan to cut back on caffeine, do so gradually over several days to a week to avoid withdrawal headaches. 